Now over to France, where citizens will head to the polls Sunday to choose the country's next president. Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen are facing off once again in the runoff election. Elaine Cobb is standing by in Paris with more on this. Greetings, Elaine. So tell us, what are polls showing? Will this be a closer contest than back in 2017? Good morning, Lana. The latest opinion polls suggest that President Macron can win with a 10-point lead on Marine Le Pen. He's being given 55% of the vote to her 44%. That is considerably less than last time around because there isn't the same goodwill towards him. In 2017, a lot of voters from across the political spectrum decided they should vote for Macron in order to block Le Pen. He's much less popular. There are many voters who believe he has not been taking care of the things that matter to them this time around, which is their purchasing power and their job security. And in the first round, he came in five points ahead of Marine Le Pen, but more than half of the voters chose an extreme candidate, either the far right or the far left. And his challenge now is to make sure he gets all of the center left and many of the left wing voters to back him. The EU's anti-fraud body is accusing Le Pen and other members of her party of embezzling funds while in parliament. What more do we know about this, Elaine? And is Macron making this part of his campaign? Well, she's being, she has accused him of um, influencing the EU, but the EU says, no, we've been working on this for a while, and it's not the first case against her for fraud from the time she was a member of the European Parliament. This latest round of allegations uh, involve 150000 uh, dollars worth of EU funding that the EU says she moved to private use. It includes, for example, an event of the National Front, as the party, her party was then known, where she used EU money to make, um, to, to have promotional materials produced, pens, baseball caps, etc. And it was written down as EU, but in fact, it's, it's alleged it all went to a private event. So they are coming after her for that. And they say, no, the, the timing is purely coincidental. So it sounds like Macron still has a, a sizable lead in the polls. But if Le Pen were to win, she has said uh, that she would actually quit um, NATO's integrated military command for France. And instead, she would seek, quote, a strategic rapprochement with Russia. How are the French people responding to that as a campaign promise, especially given all the images that we're seeing coming out of Ukraine? Well, she mentioned none of this in the first round campaign, which was very smart of her because she didn't want to remind people of any of that with the backdrop of the war in Ukraine, as you say. But even during this period, she has said again, we want to be closer to Russia. Her argument is that it, that would be the best way to avoid China and Russia cozying up to each other and forming a super bloc. So Macron is, is very concerned about that, but she believes that Russia is a better ally. She has long ties with them. And there will be a debate on Wednesday between the two candidates where he is bound to raise more of, of all of that issue of her links with Russia and with Vladimir Putin. All right, Elaine, thank you.